Hello everyone, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekend tarot messages. This is where we look at the energies or the potential that's around you for the next few days because these readings can resonate a few days longer than when they are released and they won't be for everyone so just take what resonates with you as always. So without further ado, I wish you a wonderful weekend as always and let's get straight into these readings. Libra, let's see what we have for you. This is for Libra Sun, Moon Rising and Venus. Message for our lovely Librans, please. I'm using the Druid Tarot deck for those of you who are interested. Okay, what do we have for our lovely Librans, please? Angel Spirits Guides. We start with Seven of Swords. Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Wands, seven, 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 in itself is a master number. We have the Four of Wands. Four of Wands, happy home, happy relationship, happy family, four corners of stability and security, sometimes celebratory energy here. It feels in this energy here, Libra, this is making you take stock in some way. The Seven of Pentacles is an energy of taking stock, evaluating something. It can be your money, resources and investments. Uh, even pension plans, where you put your money, where you invest your time in business, career, finances. Do I want to stay here? Do I want to move in a different direction? Do I need change? Am I being paid what I'm worth? Can be that kind of energy in money, career, finances. But it can also equally be that kind of energy in relationships. Do I want to continue putting time and into this or is it time for a change? The Seven of Swords can be some level of deception, lack of truth. Uh, because it can be somebody who could be secretly indulging in something or secretly doing something, being covert, lying. I mean, it can be a card of also, you know, stealing, betrayal. I mean, there's levels to these cards. But it might well be something is going on here that's making you take stock of the home, the family, the relationship. It could be on some level, either family or to do with the relationship. Because there's a feeling of something going on beneath the surface and it might well be in this situation that's what's making you take stock because there's a feeling of, of knowing it's going on. The seven of, seven of Wands is defensive energy. If you were calling somebody out here on a pattern of behavior of doing something secretly. This would be them defending themselves. The lovers, uh, a relationship at a crossroads. There's you, Libra, the Queen of Swords. Oh, there we are. Sununos, yeah, the devil. This feels like somebody doing something secretly and saying, I don't know what you're talking about. I haven't got a problem. I'm not doing that. You know, it's, it's this kind of energy of somebody being defensive or or pretty much saying, no, I'm not changing, I'm not giving it up, you know, uh, I'm not stopping doing this. But for some of you, it might well be that you might have confronted this person. I mean, the devil energy can be about addiction, you know, it can be about a behavioral pattern. It can also be a card of temptation as well. So doing something secretly. For some of you, it can be to do with um, addiction, shopping, gambling, drinking, on some level, indulging in something that seems to be, you know, not healthy for the home, the family, the relationship. It feels in this energy here, you know something's going on and you're not, you're actually taking stock because it might well be this person's not willing to change their ways or they've not been willing to acknowledge 
that this is an issue or willing to address it. That's the energy that I'm getting here, Libra. And the devil is can be a repeating negative cycle that doesn't really serve your highest good. And we sometimes have significant choices to make here, whether to stay in the devil energy or not. Now, for some of you, this could be a third party thing. Uh, for others of you, this could be somebody doing something secretly, maybe having promised that they wouldn't do it again and are doing. And it's bringing you to the point of making some significant decision here. This is a choice that affects a relationship or it's about a relationship itself. For example, if it's to do with family, even children, it might well be that there's there's a, a choice to make here or a decision about how you how you react to this or deal with this. If it was to do with, or a family member even, if this is to do with, um, like I said, something about the relationship, it would be about making a choice about the relationship because the other person isn't acknowledging that they've got, there's an issue. The Queen of Wands is in her truth. This is your energy. Queen of, so sorry, Queen of Wands, Queen of, I'm saying Queen of Wands because this is somebody who's considering taking action. Queen of Wands is an action energy. She is somebody who understands which direction she is moving in by being in her truth. She will gladly assess situations, even seek counsel from somebody else, um, even from the person in question here. But ultimately, she'll make a decision in truth and will bring that sword down on what serves her, what doesn't serve her. Uh, even cut cords with things that don't serve her anymore because this is an energy of somebody who is realizing they're seeing the reality of the situation. They have put time and energy into this, this situation, this relationship, and they're seeing the reality now. The truth is, is dawning on this Queen of Swords, and that's making her evaluate, take stock, and maybe come to some kind of decision in terms of how things are going to move forward from her point of view. What she stands for, what she doesn't stand for, what's acceptable, what's not. She wants balance back. That's first and foremost. Queen of Swords, male or female energy, but that's your energy here, Libra. This is, I want balance back and I'm going to make some decision or choice that will bring balance back and bring me a solution in how I do move forward and resolve this issue. So that's what I see happening in, in your near future here. Like I said, these, these readings aren't for everybody, but... Yeah, 777. So what do we have as a final message for Libra, please? Thank you. Card has turned over. We have number three. So utilize your innate gifts and creativity bestowed to you from the divine Manifest your heart's desires through what your soul wishes to speak into the world. Be the creative being you were meant to be. Now, the three in tarot is about manifesting something new. And this is the energy of somebody who is deciding what they want to manifest, what they don't want to manifest, what's worth their time and energy, what isn't worth their time and energy. So I feel this is, might be somebody who's considering on either finding a solution or speaking her truth, or giving some ultimatum, or might well be considering, I don't know if this is worth my time and energy anymore. That's what I have for you, Libra. I hope you found the reading helpful, useful. If you did, please do like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Thank you.